My name is Rose, I'm from London and I'm a second year law student at Pembroke College. So Pembroke has a medium-sized law cohort with about six to nine students per year. I really like that because there's enough people to bounce off, but it also means when you interact with other years, you don't feel lost in a sea of people. In terms of interacting between years, that's really facilitated by the Pembroke Law Society, which all law students at Pembroke are automatically a member of, and all the events are completely free. Um, we have academic events, social events, and also speakers events, where we have anyone from a Supreme Court judge to a prominent legal author or someone in the legal profession come in to talk to the law students in intimate Q&As. And it's really a chance to contextualise everything you learn in the lecture theatre and sort of apply it to the real world. The Law Society um, has recently run a trip to the UK Supreme Court, which um, allowed the law students to moot an actual case in an actual Supreme Court courtroom, which was very fun and also very informative. And all of these experiences build the bonds between the students, which you can then rely on when it comes to exam season, if you just want a break socially or need to run through some essays or problem questions with someone that studied your paper the year before. Pembroke's placed um, quite well for the law faculty. You're about a 10 minute walk away from Sidgwick site where the law faculty is, um, and also very close to shops and the centre of town. So you're right in the middle of everything that you could need. This is fantastic because you don't need to worry too much about getting to lectures on time. And it also gives you the variety of the libraries, both of which the Law Library and the Pembroke Library are very close. So everything you need is basically just a stone's throw away. You have the option to live in college accommodation for the whole of your undergraduate degree, either in college itself or in one of the houses. Some of the college houses are even closer to the law faculty than college itself. So if you are uh, like a fan of a lion, um, you can get yourself close to the faculty. Or if you enjoy the scenery and surrounding of college, you can live here throughout your undergraduate degree. I applied to Pembroke because I wanted to live in a college that I thought looked really nice and as you can see behind me Pembroke has absolutely beautiful gardens which is super important in exam term as you can study outside and enjoy the scenery rather than sitting in a library 24-7. Pembroke also has a law specific library within the overall Pembroke library which means all the books you need are just on hand and it's also a place where all the law students study and tend to meet together so if you have a quick point that you want to ask someone there will tend to be somebody in the law library that you can talk to. My favourite thing about Pembroke is the size because it's a medium-sized college, which means all the undergraduate students know each other. Wherever you walk around, there's familiar and friendly faces. And it also really facilitates all our sports, societies and other activities, as you can rise to quite high roles within those societies quite quickly and meet students from all across the college. Something I've enjoyed recently is that Pembroke College's mooting team made it through to the final of an intercollegiate moot, which was judged by a High Court judge, Andrew Shaw. The topic was very relevant to every current law student, focusing on Bristol protests and the Edward Colson statue being taken down. This was a great opportunity for those interested in public speaking to get to practice their skills, and all of the law students from Pembroke were invited to watch and to come to a drinks reception, so it was another great chance to socialise and to put some skills into practice. I think opportunities like these are really helpful for a law student, whether or not you're thinking about going into a legal career, as it helps you take your university experience that little bit further, looking what might lie beyond. In terms of the structure of the content, in first year you study four papers, all of which are compulsory. This is really helpful as it puts all students on a level footing, whether you've studied law or similar subjects before or are completely new to the discipline. It also helps to build bonds between the college specific cohort. In second and third year, you study two compulsory papers and three optional papers, and these range from anything from human rights to commercial um, and you also have the opportunity to write a dissertation if essays are your strong suit and you really want to look into a specific issue of your choosing. 
The Pembroke Law Director of Studies, Nick McBride, might be familiar to people as the author of Letters to a Law Student, which lots of students choose to read before coming to study law at university. However, he's also written textbooks on tort and contract, which are the core papers that everyone at the University of Cambridge studying law will take. And this is really helpful as you have a very high level academic within college directing your studies for those papers and I think that really sets Pembroke apart as a college for law.